I don't usually start videos, but today is kind of unique. Hopefully not. But anyways, Dana has not been feeling super well the last couple days, but she woke up with a super bad sore throat. Can't swallow. Oh, she can swallow, but it hurts really bad. Hasn't had a fever. Anyways, of course, with everything going on, we're a little bit worried. We are going to take her to the urgent care. They won't let me go in, so I will uh, drop her off and wait. But the girls are going to be chilling here at home. I'll show you what they've been up to. The two teenagers, of course, they're in their room. They're doing their thing. They're not going to want me to show them. But let me show you the super cool fort. Hey, Chelsea. I want to show the cool fort. Can you just poke your head out? Poke your head out, please. Okay. Hey. Hi. Okay, are you and Ashley in there? I'm in here, but I don't actually Okay. Well, I'm going to take mom to the doctor. Uh, you make sure you brush your teeth. Okay. Get going for the day. Mm -hmm. Play nice with your sister, please. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right. I I'll be in touch with you. I want you to relax, but I want you to play with your sister good. We'll be back, okay? All right, love you. Got like zooming in on the boobs. <laughs> so there's Dana coming down the steps. What crap? We're gonna go to the urgent care and um, see what happens. Hopefully, we have other more positive things to do today, but we'll see. So we've checked into urgent care, sitting in our car. Now we're waiting for the nurse to come out, or call us and tell us we can go in. I, just, I feel like crap and I can barely talk, but thanks for bringing me. And we'll, yeah. we'll find out. We can put together is. all our 2020 hospital events, it'll be awesome. <laughs> I never wanted an ear infection to be positive so bad. They're calling me, hang on. Urgent care, we are ready to see you now. You can go ahead and proceed into the building, take a right, and Nancy will be right up to grab you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. I got a recap. That was, what time is it, two o'clock? We went in at what, 11.40? It's been a really long two hours. So I'm gonna just explain what happened and then I'll tell you some of the results. But I went in, just they were doing the regular exam. Um, they did an, the COVID test right away it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but the after reaction was different than I thought. What, that stinging up the nose thing? Yeah, I sneezed and coughed and, and then, you know, and anyway, that was just more surprising, I think. But, so they did the COVID test and then they were waiting for the, for the doctor to come in and check my ears and throat and all that kind of stuff, because that's where the problem is. And so, while I was waiting for the doctor, it was a little bit of a wait. Um, I suddenly started feeling clammy and hot and just, I, just horrible. And I didn't, I, I was like, I know I, anyway, I, the bar barf bags were across the room and I knew that if I moved, I would throw up. And right then the dirt doctor and the nurse came in for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why both of them happened to come in at the same time, but they saw how pale I was. They said I was just like no color left in my face. Um, and I immediately like pointed to the barf bag and they gave it to me and I I dry heaved for about a minute and then threw up a little bit. Um, <coughs> Cause some other problems that women who have had children have. And so anyway, they gave they, you some I have some cute food. little uh, mesh, pants on. <laughs> I didn't know they had those. Yeah. So Sweet. anyway, um, it was horrible. I had, like, I was totally lethargic. Couldn't sit up, couldn't lay down. Um, they just kind of went into full gear. Um, I didn't like two extra nurses and put cold towel around my neck 
and immediately started prepping me for an IV, um, for fluids, um, they drew blood to test my blood. Um, as soon as I got the IV in, oh, can I go get a milkshake? I'm just you like, don't need a milkshake. I need something that I can, I, I need, like I'm shaky, I need to get something in me. All right. Um, but uh, as soon as they got the IV in, I just felt like I needed to go to the bathroom. So then they were like, if you feel like you need to go to the bathroom after all that, maybe have a UTI. So I tried to leave a sample, but I couldn't. Um, and then that worried them. So they were glad they already had me hooked up to the IV. Uh, so then we waited for the IV to drain. Um, had another moment of being all clammy and then another one of being really cold. So they got a blanket for me. Um, but overall, it's so, uh, and this is why they think it's still COVID because I don't have an ear infection. They did a strep test and I that came back negative. Oh, right. And um, my blood counts were all totally fine. My white blood count was perfectly fine. So there was no infection that they can see from blood. Um, so it's just like you're showing all the classic symptoms of COVID, especially with no other sign of infection from all the other sources that it's tested from. <laughs> So, um, unfortunately, the hottest week we're about to have this summer, I have to self-quarantine my, you know, myself, self-isolate, and put my older kids in charge. Um, well, I gotta, we gotta figure out whether I need to get No, she said as long as I self-isolate for three to five days, waiting for their results. Three to five days, it should take like... She said that their results are their labs are on a five to seven day time frame. That's what they're saying nationally is everything's getting delayed because there's not enough. You're correct. Can you just let me okay. talk? She said yes, we are on a five to seven day turnaround time for results. But I have my chart from like the hospital doctors or whatever that is on my online account for my medical records. She said for whatever re 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 for whatever reason negative results they update to my chart online the fastest so she's like you could receive the, those results in two to three days um, and we won't even see those results for like, up to five days she said that's a positive she said keep notice of that I should get an email if I do get an, an update to that account um, I mean I still feel like crap I've tried to take naps multiple times while I was in there because I just I'm out of energy and super tired it still is killing me my ears are killing me when I try and swallow um, I need to take oh crap I have to read it I think Tylenol and not ibuprofen which is what I've been taking I just feel like crap so well let's hope it's something else I don't know what else it could be babe I don't either because there's, I don't know how we're going to handle it. We'll handle it as we, you know, with any other hard situation. All right. I know Dana would want me to film this. So I am, um, she's up in our room where she's going to stay, I guess, for, till we find out the test results. Um, I am making her, I made her some ramen, getting her some more water. And um, then I'm going to try to make dinner for the kids. I am, uh, to be honest with you, nervous about all this BS and uh, worried it's not BS it's just BS because of the situation that everybody turns it into whether wearing a mask or not whatever I'm gonna take this up to her and uh, hopefully she's doing good and I'll try to make dinner for the kids thanks for watching all right I know Dana would want me to end the day basically what we've been up to is I took the two youngest on a drive tried to just go find something break up the monotony um, the older two just sit in their rooms because there's nothing else to do I mean what you know friends can't play or anything we're just waiting to see how Dana progresses and hopefully it's just some basic cold that it passes and that she'll be okay so that's what we're rooting for I'm working on other stuff I think I am going to do Disney Plus maybe if Dana's got to stay in a room she can tell me how and maybe I can start editing videos just put things together. It won't be as snazzy and as good as she does it. Dramatic music, you know, keep it cool. 
um, but we'll see how it goes. So thanks, and I hope you are all staying healthy and safe and taking care of you and your loved ones. Thank you for watching. Comment below, hit that subscribe button, and uh, have a good one.